rusty rivets. I finally got my hands on them. Okay. I started finding these probably three months ago. Toys R Us kept putting them out at different locations. I would keep taking them up to the cash. A message would come up on the cash register saying, do not put out until August the 1st. So I was like really upset, thought it was a mistake. Usually stuff like that only happens with toys like Star Wars. I don't know why. I think the cartoon is on. I should have looked at the cartoon to see what it was like. I just knew when I saw them that I wanted them. Uh, they're tough, they're cute, they're cool, they're colorful. They're everything that I like in a toy. They're made by Spin Master. The people that brought us Paw Patrol. Come on. I think this is a fine example. Look at this guy. His goggles, his cool hair, his cute robot. The guy with the common sense, the smart guy, said just to get these. But the toy tuber in me told me, you have to get everything. You have to build the giant robot that you can construct with all of the different sets. So I did. I got it all. There are a few other things that came out today as well. We have a drill thing and we have some little cars. You know, I didn't have any discount off these. I have way too many toys. I have spent way too much money recently. I really shouldn't have done it. Something that does upset me is that all the figures in them are the same. There are only two characters we get. There's another character that comes in one of the cars. I wish that that guy would have also been included in one of these sets. But I have a lot of multiple characters. It's nice that they did switch up the outfits a little bit. I think after you open these all up, only end up with two figures that are exactly the same. Well, you end up with two of her and two of, of this guy, I believe. I'm going to show you the sets and go through them anyway. Like I said, I really should have just gotten these because this is the kind of toy that I really like. I try to avoid cars and robots and stuff. I'm a sucker for dinosaurs though, and they have one of those in here. So here's Rusty and Whirly. And Whirly looks really cute. And then I have Ruby and Bites. Bites is like a robot bulldog. Really cute. And then we have Rusty and Crush. Oh, and Crush is like a clamp robot guy. Really cute. Yeah, these sets are what it's about. Those are definitely my favorite. Then we have the Ant Drill. So cool, it has legs. Look what you make when you're done. And that's Ruby again. And then in the Rusty set, we get a jetpack. That looks really cool when you assemble that. Notice that it doesn't say anything on the front of these packages because they don't participate in the ultimate build. Build Me Rivet System. And that comes on all of the other packs. Next we have the cart build. Rusty gets a blue car, which is pretty sweet. And this is the first toy that I saw showing up at Toys R Us. This is how I knew that this would be my new favorite toy line. And then we have the Ruby equivalent, and that's the buggy build. And she comes with a little red buggy. Red is my favorite color. And she looks cute in there. At first I didn't realize she was a girl, and then I saw her ponytail. Cute set, that is. It appears that you can build different things, because you can see that on the back you have that robot, and on the back you have this robot. So that's cool that you can put them together in different formations. Okay, so I may as well show you the giant dino bot a sore. There he is, and he's got a try me feature. Let's see if you can hear this. There's lots of sounds in there. Don't think it says anywhere how many there are. Oh no, I got a ripped box. It says it's an easy build. You can give them wheels, or you can give them dinosaur feet. And then the last set is Blaster Tank. And that's a sweet looking set. See how they switch things up a little bit? 
with the character, his goggles in different positions, when he has the same outfit on, and when he has different colors on, he can have his goggles down. So you do get a mix of different figures. Let me show you the two sets that have the same figures in them. These two sets come with the same figure, and these two sets come with the same figure. I really like them. I'm probably going to do an unboxing before you get a chance to vote, but I would still be interested in hearing which set or sets you are interested in me opening the most. For me, it's the figure packs. Probably, like I said, this is what I should have only bought and been a good boy, but I was bad and got everything. The whole thing in Canada came to just under $200 around there. There's a lot of tax and stuff going on. Look out for these openings coming up on the channel. I'll try to intersperse them in with other reviews, but I also want to get this done fast. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. the little plain gray car that you can make better than the souped up crazy version.